All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Chakurash, the one that's elders and apostles of great meals, and I do it well, and salutations and blessings to Akim that's pushing this word with true sincerity and charity. All right, today I would like to get into this, I would like to get into this quick lesson. I'm going to title it, Bag with Holes in It. Because, hey, I was talking to um talking to this Edomite today at, at work, man, one of my co one of my coworkers, man. You know, and hey, he's like, they were just talking about football, man. I ain't got nothing else to talk talk to Esau about anyways, man. But he was just talking about football, you know, and hey, he talking about uh, Tom Brady and all these things. And hey, this is just a line back on the video I did earlier. You know, Spirit just had me want to go back into this, man. But, you know, he talking about football and Tom Brady, like how Tom Brady came back or whatever out of retirement, which I don't watch football, so I don't know if, if that even happened. But um, he's talking about, yeah, hey, you know, he's just coming back for the money and all this. I'm like, yeah, man, of course, you know. But, hey, he made a logical point. He like, uh, um, hey, he he said he got a, a cousin that works for ESPN. He said that his cousin time, you know, the football games. And he said that the games really only last for 20 minutes, you know. It only lasts for 20 minutes, man, of actual play, playing time. And, and, hey, these people are making millions and millions of dollars, man. I right, even if they, hey, even if they making a hundred thousand dollars, they're making way more than what we making, you know, and they they doing all that just to, to to run a football up a field, or to run a ball up a field, man. Same way, Wayne. Same thing for for NBA players, all right. To put a basketball in in a damn goal, man, in a hoop, all right, for forty five minutes, they're making millions and millions of dollars. Where, a hey, we're we're doing hard labor, all right. They us Israelites, man, doing hard labor. All right, busting, busting our behinds every day and barely even making it, man. Living paycheck to paycheck. All right, you work 50 hours a week. And you ain't you ain't seeing that whole 50 hours, man. Because Esau, Edom taking taxes out of your checks and all this shit. You know, so we, hey, we literally have ba a bag with holes in it. All right, we, we got coins. Uh, uh, it's like you got a, you know, a bag, all right, with holes up. And you got coins, man. All those, they, most of those coins are going to fall out. And what, you're going to only have the, the little residue that's left. Right, that didn't slip through by way of luck, man. And that's the same thing. That, and that's the same thing with us. All right, we're we're just barely getting back. But hey, we're for do. I'm gonna jump into it. This is Habakkuk one and six. It says, uh, "You have sown much. All right, you work that fifty hour shift and bring in little. You bring in little, man. You don't bring in, um, you know that whole check. And hey, even if you did bring in that whole check, man, it, it still ain't enough. Still is not gonna be enough, man." Cause they, we gotta pay bills on top of bills on top of bills. Esau Edom puts bills on you, man. That you that that just pops up out of nowhere. He just puts a bill on you, man. You know. Then now you gotta pay it. All right. You run. You run a light. Now you gotta pay a, a hundred and fifty dollar light. A hundred and fifty dollar bill. All right. Speeding tickets and and all these other things, man. All this a hey, all this hell that that is put up put upon our people, man. Because of a hey, because of this devil. All right. Because we're inside of slavery, man. But hey, this 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 place. It's not our rest, man. All right, this is not our rest. This is why we have a bag with holes in it. it says, uh, ye eat, but ye have, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. There is, hey man, this kingdom is just not enough for us, man. Everything here inside this place is, is never going to be enough for us. It says, and he that earned it wages, earned it wages to put into a bag with holes, all right. So we put in a everything that we, what what we put our money into, a is 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 just a bag with holes in it, all right. A we we get money, but we ain't, we ain't really making money, you know. We ain't really making it, man. And we just we 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 just barely barely getting by. It's how them takes your 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 money, you know. A, when you when you get when you get a check, all right, you looking at all these things that he done took out, man. Man, then it took. You know, uh, um, hey, let's say if you got a four hundred dollar check, all right, that man go Esau go take a hundred and twenty dollars out of your check, man, for no damn reason, <laughs> literally for no reason, man, for a hey, for taxes, you know, just I mean, it's, it's just a whole bunch of BS, man. But this just shows you that hey, this is not our rest, man. This is our hell. This is our slavery. This is Deuteronomy twenty eight, verse fifteen. And, hey, this just shows. That we that we are cursed, man, and we will never be at the we will never be able to get to the top. And hey, if you and, and if you do, you know, get it, get a little bit, you know, amount of uh, amount of money, 
here inside this kingdom, you sell out to Esau, Edom, you sell your soul, man. You still ain't going to be at the top, man. You're going to be a, you're going to be a dog at his table. He's going to be feeding your ass of crumbs. All right. And that's what does. That's, that's what happens to these people that get into the industry. All right. And what they do, they just want to shit on niggas, man. But you would never be able to shit on Esau because you are his slave. You are at the bottom, man. But this is Deuteronomy 28 and 15. It says, but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh thy power to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And they have overtaken us, man. Totally overtaken us. And this is all because we didn't hearken unto the, to the voice of the Lord. So, hey, the Lord put these put these curses upon us. And one of the curses they put on us is this. This is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 44, it says, uh, I start at 43, it says, The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. Hey, Esau, Edom is, is very high above us, man. All these other nations are very high above us. Hey, even these 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 local, you know, uh, damn heathens at the corner stores and, and gas stations, man, they're very high above you, man. You got to go to them for what? One of all things, man. Everything that you want, you gotta go to them for. You want gas, you gotta go to you gotta go to Ishmael, man. You know, hey, you want you 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 want some shit at the corner store, you gotta go to Ishmael. You gotta go to him, all right. You gotta go to Moab. Hey, man, you 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 want you want a job? Hey, you gotta run to Esau, man. You want food? Run to Esau. You know. But this is Deuteronomy twenty eight and forty four it says, "He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him." And uh, it says, "He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail." So, hey, we are the tail inside this land, man. We ain't the head here, all right? And this just shows that, hey, we are a cursed people. This just shows that we are the Israelites, man. It says, moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till, till thou be destroyed. And our people are totally destroyed, man, as a, as a, as a nation, as a whole. Or our people are totally destroyed, man. You go on social media, all you see our people talking about is, is sex, drugs, and money, man. That's it. That's all. Their minds are totally destroyed. Their minds are totally gone from, from Yahweh Shemal Shai. And they are sold into Esau Edom. They are sold into this world. All right? Yeah, people are, are all about madness, man, and wickedness. It says, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of Yahweh thy, thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded thee this day, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So this is a sign to show who the Israelites are. Hey, we are the Israelites. We have a hey, we we are as a, as a nation as a whole. We are a bag with holes in it, man. Our people don't have shit. <laughs> don't have no substance, man. Hey, we don't get all. We don't get our own military. We ain't got our own banks. And guess what? If you do, bombs go fall on your ass, man. All right, Esau even go come and take your shit. Esau even is gonna come and wage war on you, cause hey, we hey, we are the we are the tail, and he is the head. All right, this is our this is our slavery, man. This is our downfall. Only way to get up out of this rut is to call on the Yahweh Shai. Seek the Lord ten times more. This is Baruch 3 and 8. It says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. All right, we are yet this day in our captivity, man. 2022. Hey, what was today's date? March 14, 2022. Still in our captivity. You know? But hey, these things are, are, are changing, man. These things are changing. All we got to do is keep on pushing this word. All right, doing the work of Yahweh Bashem al and stay faithful unto the Lord, man. We go get up out of here. All right, we're gonna get up out of here on the first go around, man. You know, but hey, as of right now, hey, we are still in captivity, man, in the hands in the hand of our enemy. You know, who hey, hey who doesn't want to let us go, man? <laughs> he doesn't want to let us go because hey, this man makes all this money off us. You know, hey, just just by giving us a you know a measly ass peach, a measly ass paycheck. All right, measly ass paycheck, man. And hey, hey, keeping hey, keeping putting payments on your ass. All right, keep putting bills on you, man, so that you can never catch up, so that you can never a hey, hey, get get at the top, man. You know, this place is set up for us to fall and set up for us to fail. But it says, um, and they also hey, another thing too, man. That I I I I cut fruit. You know, I cut fruit. You know, as a as a as a slave. You know, <laughs> on my plantation, man. I cut fruit, but hey, I, I calculated. Yeah, hey, um, what a bowl maybe about be like five dollars. I cut up like a, a hundred, hundred and fifty bowls a day, man. Hey, and I'm making, I'm making. Uh, let's see, let me calculate it, man. Let's see. 
making $175 for Esau Edom in, in, in one day. And this man give and this man to give you $120 for your labor, you know, a day. That's fucking that that that's that's hell, man. That's hell, that's slavery, that's captivity. All right? That's the bare minimum of, of, of what of what you're gonna of, of what you have produced for him. See, he's just gonna give you uh, the crumbs of it, man. But this is what our people love. This is why we had a mindset of, of, of being kings and rulers, man. All right? We just do what we gotta do to get back. And hey, we come back home and do this work, man. Come back home and serve you. How about Shemal Shah? Pray to the Lord. All right, read. Hey, stay in the spirit, man. But this is Baruch 3 and 8. It says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, right? Deuteronomy the 28th chapter. And, and to be subject to payments. All right, we are a subject to payments here, according to all the iniquities of our fathers. Which departed from Yahweh our power. So hey, we are subject to payments here inside our here in, in our captivity, man. Wherever we may, wherever we may be, wherever the Lord has scattered us, all right, the Israelites are subject to payment. All right, at the bottom of the bottom, man. At the bottom of all the totem poles. Right? You are yeah, you are you are a slave. Subject to hey, Esau Edom's ways, man. Whatever, whatever bill Esau wanna put on you, man. You you wanna watch, you wanna hey, have internet, hey, a bill is gonna be slapped on you, man. Hey, you 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 want a car? A bill is gonna be slapped on you. You know we are subject to payments inside this place with a bag with holes in it. You know that's why you gotta have a kingly mindset, man, and come back and serve the Lord, so you can a hey, hey, have true substance in the kingdom. But this is a uh, Proverbs twenty three and four. It says, "Labor not to be rich, cease from thine own wisdom." All right, you labor to be rich, man. Hey, what you gonna totally destroy yourself? Um, cause hey, you will never you will never catch up. Uh, I think it's, let me see, yeah, okay, yeah, so this is um, Sirach 31 and 1, it says, Watching for riches consumeth the flesh, and the care thereof driveth away sleep. Watching uh, watching care will not let a man slumber, as a sore disease breaketh sleep. The rich have great labor in gathering riches together, and when he rested, he is filled with his delicacy. So, hey, man, you, you. You working for riches, hey, you're going to totally destroy yourself. All right? It's going to kill you ultimately, man. It's ultimately going to kill you. That's why you labor not to be rich, especially in, 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 the, in the land that is not yours. All right? Land that is not yours, man. You're going to you're gonna, hey, destroy yourself, man. Bug yourself out. Look at all these celebrities. All right? Hey, they, they don't get no damn sleep. They don't get no true rest, man. They got to work. They got to work. They got to work. They got to be a slave to Esau, man. All right? And they, they much more of a... Of a of a greater slave, cause now you're getting more money. You're getting more. You're getting more money. Well, guess what? It's a catch to it, man. Hey, a lot of these, a lot of these people gotta, hey, do blood sacrifices, hey, all all type of sacrifices, man. All right, sacrifices on their bodies. All right, you gotta give up your bodies. Get get ran through. All right, you a woman? Hey, you a man? You gotta get ran through. <laughs> you know, hey, man, this place is hell for us. But it says in uh, Proverbs twenty three and five. It says, "Wilt thou set thine eyes upon?" That which is not, for riches suddenly make themselves wings; they fly away as an eagle toward heaven. So, hey man, hey, riches will fly away. All right, hey, we hey, we we have a bag with holes in it, man. All of our money flies away. All right, the little money we get, that hey, you may get taxes, or you may get your taxes back, right? And all these things. Well, guess what? Those taxes are going towards bills. All right, they're flying away, man. And hey, if you and if you are rich, hey. And you, if you are a rich, you know, nigga inside this world, man, Esau Edom, can they put a put a, 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 a heinous crime on you and what? Lock your ass up. Take away all your money. Bill Cosby and R. Kelly are prime examples for that, man. All right. Bill Cosby was finna bat NBC. All right. And hey, what did they do, man? They slapped a, a heinous crime on him. Rape. All right. And, and this is something that he probably didn't even do. All right. Or it's something he did do. But guess what? It was years and years and years ago. But Esau Edom dug that up. And put that on him so they can stop him from doing that, man. Because they seen the money that he had. Took it all away, man. His riches flew away. You know? We don't have any substance here in this land, man. We don't have any power. Any power whatsoever here in this land. All right? We are slaves to Esau Edom. And you will never be able to catch up, man. Never be able to catch up. But this is Micah 2 and 10. It says, Arise ye and depart. This is what we should be doing. Arising. Rising up, man. And how do you arise? Come back to the Lord. And depart. Take and getting your, your mind out of Babylon, man. Stop trying to fucking chase the bag. Stop trying to get rich in this place, man. 
All right, this you would ne you would never be at the top here, man. AI, our nation as a whole would never be at, be at the top here. All right, we want to put our whole nation on, man. We want all our nation to be on top, man. All right, and put the heathens in subjection where they rightfully deserve to be at the bottom of us, man. That's the mindset that you should have. It says for this is not your arrest. This is not our arrest because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sword destruction. So, hey, man, trying to hold on to this place is going to destroy you, man. As I alluded to in the, in the lesson I did earlier. All right, this place is, is not is not our rest. This place is not for us, man. This is our hell. And hey, hey, if you hold on to this place, it will be your destruction, man. So I praise the lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Chakurash, the one that's elders and apostles of great millstone that do a will, and citations and blessings to Akim that's pushing his word with truth, sincerity, and charity. Shalom and a Baba Ball.